How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Let me show you guys how you can access blocked or banned websites if you're in Russia. All you need is a VPN that actually works in Russia. Now accessing blocked websites in Russia with a VPN is very simple. Basically, a VPN, which is short for Virtual Private Network, is a service that enables you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet, making it appear as though you're located in a different country. This allows you to bypass local restrictions and access blocked websites. Now, how this works is you can choose a reputable VPN by clicking the links in the description down below to claim an exclusive discount on one of these VPNs. These are the top three VPNs overall. I'll talk a little bit about them later. Uh, but once you've chosen one of them, you can get yourself a subscription um, and they're covered by 30 day money back guarantee, by the way, in case you're not satisfied. Uh, once you have the subscription, you can download and install one of these VPNs. Once they're installed, you can use your login credentials to uh, log into the application itself. And as you can tell here on my IP finder, I was just connected to the French uh, server, which is why on my IP address finder, it says that I'm in France. So once you have your VPN set up, let's say I want to get access to content that is available only in the United States. I'll connect to a state server or whatever it is. Let's just go for Chicago, for example. And as soon as I'm connected in order to verify that I am indeed in Chicago, as far as my internet is concerned, let's say I'm in Russia, I'm not in Russia, but let's say I'm in Russia. I want to get access to some American Netflix, whatever it is that is banned for me in Russia. Now I can have access, full access, the full freedom that um, an American American would have because I'm connected to the American server here. Let me just refresh and on my IP address, it says that I'm in Chicago simply because I'm connected to the Chicago server. Let's say I'm feeling some, I don't know, maybe some German content uh, or, or, you know, Chinese content or Japanese content. Let's just connect to Germany simply switch servers and now i have access to uh any services any uh streaming services any uh websites that are available maybe only in germany i also have access to them but more importantly i now have access to everything that is banned or restricted in russia now, you don't have to really worry about the government finding out about this because these VPNs, first of all, they're not based in Russia. They don't have any servers in Russia, so the government can't really ask them for information or anything like that. They're based in countries outside the 5, 9, and 14 eyes jurisdiction, such as the British Virgin Islands with ExpressVPN, Panama with NordVPN, and although Surfshark is based in the Netherlands, it still has a very good privacy policy uh, so yeah, in terms of the privacy policy, they have strict no logs policies. They do not collect your information uh, and you don't have to worry about the Russian government um, knowing what you're doing or knowing what kind of uh, websites you're visiting because with a VPN, you will essentially be completely encrypted and anonymous. Uh, but what I would recommend is you always keep the kill switch on uh, if you're in a censorship heavy country, let's say like Russia, this means that your internet connection is always going to get cut off in case the VPN gets disconnected. So this means that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN, while you're encrypted by the VPN. Otherwise, you'll get cut off. So that's basically how you can get more internet freedom if you're in Russia. Now, which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you? Let's talk a little bit about that. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect 
or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming. Or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And again, they are all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.